Hi, we're out here at Vista Elementary. We're going to film another snapshot with one of our great teachers, Lauren Jensen, a sixth grade teacher out here. Uh, high MGPs again. Uh, let me look. I think just about the highest MGP in the whole entire district, 95. And uh, as you can tell from this beautiful classroom that, she's, that she uh, teaches from, um, kids from all over, out of all kinds of circumstances, uh, can, can do very well, can grow. And so let's go in and meet Lauren. We, we looked at the outside of the relocatable here, and it's maybe not, you know, the best real estate, yeah. right? <laughs> but but you're here. You are. You're a provisional teacher, mm -hmm. third year teacher. Yeah. Um, and and your your kids are just growing. You've got this huge MGP. What did you do? Um, I come in, and I just have really high expectations. Um, I teach dual immersion, and mm -hmm. so I actually see these kids for two hours a day, and I teach math, science, and language arts. So when they come into my room, we are going nonstop. We, from the minute they come in to the minute they leave, don't stop doing something and learning. And, and unfortunately, the way that my class has to be set up is I teach at school, and they go home and practice it. So my kids do a lot of homework because the schedule is so tight in dual immersion. And so I just come in and I say, you know, this is my expectation of you. Um, this is the expectation of the homework that you'll do each night. And they rise to the challenge. I can't really cut anything out. The, the, um, my sense is that your, what you teach has to be pretty targeted. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, I, I end up spending a lot of my time figuring out, you know, we just got wonders and going through and picking like, this is what I need to teach. This really has to be done. I look, when I'm planning a lesson, I have dual monitors at my own home and I have the wonders pulled up and then I have the core pulled up. Mm -hmm. And I'm really just crossing, cross-referencing and figuring out what it is that is aligned with the core and what it is that even is aligned with the core, but is not super important. Or I can maybe catch that with just a phrase, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So do you, do, you, do you spend a lot of time on stuff that's not in the core? Hardly any. Uh, do you feel okay about that? Um, I wish my room would be a little more fun. <laughs> um, oh. But as far as, like, I do see my kids grow, and one of the most rewarding parts of my job is having kids who were, you know, a one or a two, you know, in tears at the end of the year going, I never knew I could pass the sage, or I never knew I was actually smart. And so I don't regret it because these kids, and, and I really push that after we've taken the test, like, guys, yeah, my class was tough. And we all cried during the year at some point, but look at what happened because of your hard work so they can see and learn early, like, working hard now will pay off because it did pay off and I grew and I'm up to grade level and I never thought I would be up to grade level and that's really rewarding so yeah I don't regret it because the reward that I see or the way the kids feel afterwards makes it worth it. You are just absolutely marvelous. Oh, thank you. Thank you really so very very much.